Welcome to today's vlog. This morning, so far, we have just been packing up some more stuff. We're taking everything off the walls now so that we can go through and like fill all the holes and touch up paint and basically just getting ready to move. I'm heading to New York next week and then what else am I doing? I have my dentist appointment. If you guys didn't see my vlog where I talked about how many cavities I have, I'll link that down below, but I have that next week and then we go to New York, then I have another dentist appointment and then Parker and I are going to Vegas to celebrate our anniversary and our actual anniversary is next week and then the week after that we're moving. So basically we have a lot of stuff going on so we're just trying to get started with packing and like cleaning up everything ASAP. I got this box in the mail. I ordered these lights for our kitchen quite a few weeks ago. I guess they were back ordered so they weren't supposed to be here for a little bit and then I got an email like two weeks ago that they were back ordered again so they weren't gonna be here until November, but I actually have these before the original back order date. That date was like September 30th. Wait, what month is it? Oh, just kidding. I was thinking that it was not October yet, but it is. But anyways, I wanted to open these because for one, it says they're back ordered, so like I shouldn't have them yet. And then for two, I just went on the website to like look at them because I was trying to figure out how much they were. They were a lot more than I normally would ever spend on lights. I think they were like, almost $500 each. I got two of them. I have just been like dreaming about these lights for literally like a year now. One of my friends that I know has them in her house. They're just so beautiful. So I saved up, I splurged, but now I'm nervous because I'm trying to like get on the website and see like the tracking if it says they shipped and it's just like not showing anything. And I can't even find the link to the actual lights that I bought. So they must be sold out. And I don't know if they shipped like half of it and then like the other half's gonna be sold out because it was like a two piece thing. Like, I just don't know. I don't know anything. So I have two boxes, but I'm only gonna open one obviously just to kind of like check everything. Parker just ran some errands. He's going golfing too. So I'm just here. It's a box. Literally this is the same exact box, only smaller. Okay. Also, before I even like really open this and look at it, the pictures that I've seen in my friend's house, she doesn't actually live there anymore, so in her old house, the lights look really light, and then on their website, they look really dark, and I know my friend like edits her pictures, obviously, so I know they're probably like a little darker than I think, but on the website, they were like literally so dark, so I don't know what the color is actually gonna be like. I hope I like it. These are the lights. They're so cute. So I think they're made of like terracotta or something. I mean, is that a color? That's actually maybe a color. See, but I can't see any of the info about these lights because I don't think they sell them anymore. Okay, yeah, just kidding. I think this color that I got is terracotta. This is a banded cone pendant. I'm not gonna open it all the way just cause I have to like wrap this back up as well as it was packaged to make sure it doesn't break on the drive up there. But this is what they look like. And then this part is a little like, you guys can kind of see the shape of it. It's like shaped like this and it's the same color as this. So we will have two of these hanging up in our kitchen. These are super cute. They are lighter than they look on the website, which is good. Cause I thought they looked too dark on the website. That's good. Mr solved I literally like was looking for my tracking information and stuff and it's just not on here so I have it on my to-do list to go on here and like change my shipping address because I thought these were gonna ship like in the end of November because I got an email saying that that was gonna happen so I needed to give them my updated address for after we move but now I don't have to do that and I have the lights earlier than I thought, so that's good. I'm just gonna package this back up now. So I have two of those. They're gonna be really, really cute. We also just got the news today that our closing date actually got moved up one day. So our builder originally said the 6th, and then he was like, just kidding, I need another day, so the 7th. And now it is back to the 6th. So we are super, super excited. It is seriously coming so quick. I feel like for the past like month, even though it was only like a month or two away, I just felt like it was so long, especially since Lauren has moved. I just have... No friends here. Yeah, it has been very boring and I've just been literally counting down the days until we move. I'm super excited. I feel like these next three weeks are gonna go by so quick, especially because I'm like traveling and just have a bunch of stuff going on. I kind of had like three or four weeks of like not really doing a lot. Yeah, but I'll show you guys an update on everything we've done so far to the house. So we started clearing off these shelves, which this totally makes the house look so so, so, so empty. I also moved, we had a plant here. I moved that, we had a mirror. I took that off the wall. Parker, we let his parents borrow our screwdriver. So, or not our screwdriver, our drill. So he's stopping by his parents' house to get that. And we have to like take the screws out of 
the wall for this thing. I also have taken most of the stuff out of the guest bathroom. This is where we pretty much like move everything or keep everything that we are taking with us, but doesn't really have like a place. This room still pretty much looks the same. And then Parker was working on his office earlier and we actually used to have like a futon right here, but we gave that to my brother. Now it actually left like this huge line on the wall, which really sucks. Hopefully that will wipe off or we'll have to repaint it or something. I don't know. Parker's office is also a work in progress. I also took, we had two things hanging up right here, so I took those down. We had pictures right here, I took those down. We had a rug right here that I put away. And then we also had stuff hanging up here, so I took those down too. Slowly everything's being packed up. It's hard to like pack stuff up when it's still so far away, even though it's also so soon. I'm trying to pack up everything that we don't need, but then also, I don't know, it's just hard to like figure out what to pack. So I've been trying to pack anything that I can right now because it's gonna be super busy in the next few weeks yeah that is the house update as soon as parker gets home we are going to play my mario games if you guys watched the last vlog we went to target i'm pretty sure what they did i haven't really like this freaking camera is heavy hold on i don't even really know that much about it because my sister just showed it to me but basically they have two new gaming systems but they're actually the old gaming systems but they made a new version of it so i couldn't decide which one and i ended up getting both of them so i'm just counting down the minutes until parker gets home because i told him I would wait for him before I play with them <laughs> okay so I just looked outside and I have some more packages figured I might as well show you guys so this first one is from spell so this is the first piece I will link these down below this is a swimsuit or are these called rash guards I don't know this print is so cute so they sent me this and then they also sent me this dress. So their prints are always so, so, so cute. Then I have a big one. This one's from Urban Outfitters. I don't know what this is. This is so cute. They sent me, these are gonna be so good for the snow. They sent me these pink boots. These are so cute. Ooh, and they sent me these blue little slippers these will be so nice for the snow it does not snow where we live but it does snow up in salt lake and honestly that is like the thing i am least excited about now i'm gonna be prepared <laughs> Parker to get back from golfing. I decided to wash my makeup brushes and one of my friends actually gave me this brush cleanser. I was really excited when she told me about it because I'm so lazy when it comes to washing my makeup brushes and this stuff is freaking awesome. It's by the brand Mascara if you guys have heard of it. It's like a Utah brand. A lot of people here really like it. This stuff is great so I wanted to show it in the vlog. Basically you just spray your makeup brushes and then I just have like paper towels that I use to wipe it and it seriously got like so much of the makeup off my brushes. As you guys can see, they were really dirty, but now they are fresh and clean and it was so quick to wash all of them. So I'm gonna link this down below if any of you guys wanna try it. And it also smells so good. So yeah, I can check that off my to-do list. I've been needing to do that for literally ever. <laughs> Dude, this is, Yay. this is a good beat. All right, Parker's home. We picked up, well, he picked up some cookies. We got peanut butter, chocolate chip, and sugar cookie. He set up our Mario game, and we're gonna play. So I guess it comes with a ton of games, like, on it. Do you have to download them each, maybe? I don't think so. You know? Holy crap! Ah! Guys, comment down below if any of you guys have ever played this. I used to play this on my Game Boy. Dude, this is the best thing ever. This is not sponsored, I wish it was. <laughs> I am so excited. We are Nintendo ambassadors, so it is just, sponsored. It's not. Just joking. It's not, it's <laughs> not sponsored. But yeah, we actually just barely started getting in contact with Nintendo, which doesn't have anything to do with us buying this. Yeah, My no. sister just showed us this, and so I bought it. Comment down below if you ever, did you ever play this on Game Boy? Uh, I did, this but I... This is freaking childhood. I didn't get really, like, really deep into this. This is like stuff. the most exciting thing that could ever happen. I'm not even kidding. This is so fun. <laughs> Guys, we're playing Mario Kart and it is so crazy. Did this say 92? Yeah, this is from 1992. Which is like only how many years ago is that? Like 26 years ago or something. I think that's when my sister was born, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, and she's 26, so. Yeah, in 26 years, video games have come so 
far. Yeah, they have. Like this. Now you is can put on so crazy. Goggles. Okay, What'd you do? I accidentally clicked cancel. Retry. <gasps> yeah, now you can do like virtual I got a good reality. Start. Sorry. I was beating you. And this is so cool because they have like the same courses that they have today. Freak, I suck at this version. Like the, it's just so cool to see like our Mario Kart that we have. Mar we have a Switch for Mario Kart, right? Or yeah, Mario we Kart do. For the Switch. Yep. Playing Mario Kart on the Switch and then to play it on this where it's like probably the first version of Mario Kart ever. I wonder if it is. I don't know. It's got to be one of the first. Freak, I am not. I'm in second one. place, I'm baby. I'm in eighth. I'm in first. I still can't figure out how to use my items. No. What the heck? Freak. Oh, I think everyone just overlapped me. I'm not even joking. I can do it second. I'm <laughs> Barely! I still have a whole nother lap. Wait, what? Wait, I'm passing people, but like not really because they're a whole lap ahead of me. They're already done. Come on. Freak! You gotta like hop through the mud and stuff. Eighth place. Nice. Oh, look. I qualified. I'm going to round two. <laughs> You're not. Oh. <laughs> look how close I was to taking first. Yeah, you only lost by like... Three hundredths of a milliseconds. <laughs> I don't know if that's Three. right. Dude, this is so crazy. This like they fun. have this course on current versions of the game. No, I, I fell off. They have this course on current versions of the game. Yeah, they do. Wow, it's really hard to not fall off. I know. It's like so two-dimensional. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna make it! No! Ah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I fell off again. I beat you by Eighth 10 place. seconds. Cool. <laughs> We plugged in the other gaming console. What do you think? You like it? You having fun? Like keep them both. They have different games. Keep them both? They have different games. No! You just died. They're really fun. I just told Parker for Christmas that I really want a Nintendo 64. Yeah. That's what I used to play when I was little too. I told her that this is her Christmas present, but it's an early Christmas present because I had to buy it. We went to the store. She was like, I'm gonna buy these. And we go there. And she didn't have her wallet. It in the car. So it was like 200 bucks for all this. But it's so many games. Anyways, we're going to keep playing the game and hang out for the night. So we're going to end the vlog here. Hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure that you guys thumbs up and also subscribe. And we'll see you guys in our next vlog. Bye. Bye. Bye.